Hi everyone, welcome to Rush Resources TV. Today I'm going to talk to you about equations of a straight line. Now it's very important to realize the equation of any straight line is represented by y equals mx plus c. Now it's very important also that you understand what each term in this equation represents. First of all, the c represents the y intercept. And the m represents the gradient. And the gradient is obviously the steepness of the um, slope. So it's um, how steep the line on the graph is. Now on this um, graph I've drawn just beneath, um, you can see that the line crosses the y-axis, which is this line here, at this point here. And that would be the c in our equation. And it crosses the x-axis at this point here. Now, a lot of exam questions ask you to find what the x and y um, intercepts are, and I'm going to show you that in a real life example. And we have one right here, and this one shows you y equals 3x plus 6. So, first of all, we know the 6 represents the y intercept, so this is where it crosses the y axis, and we know the 3 represents the gradient, or the steepness of the curve. Now to find what the x-intercept is, I'm going to show you how you do that. First of all, it's very important you rewrite the equation as y equals 3x plus 6. And then, what you want to do is you want to sub in y equals 0, because the point where the line crosses the x-axis, which is here, y will be 0, because we know it's represented by point 0. Therefore, I will just put in 0 there, and I'd rewrite the equation, and solve it to find what x is. So we know, whenever we move something to the other side of the equal sign, the sign in front changes to the opposite. So we have a minus 6 equals 3x, and therefore x is just minus 6 divided by 3, and the answer would give us x equals minus 2. Therefore, the coordinates of the x-intercept would be minus 2, 0. And we know also the coordinates of the y-intercept would be 0, 6, based on the c, which is shown right here. I hope that makes sense to everyone, and I hope you found this uh, video useful. Just give it a thumbs up if it was useful to you, and I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.